D'Antoni didn't have the talent in Houston to win a championship. You know what D'Antoni did <laughs> with James Harden as point guard? He got the Rockets to host the game seven against the most talented team of all time into the Nets team, the, the KD, Steph, Clay, Dre, Iggy Warriors. They hosted a game seven, and they didn't have Chris Paul and lost by single digits in spite of missing 27 threes consecutively. And you know what everyone said at that point? Well, live by the three, die by the three. See, you can't win a championship with Dan Tony. I'm not trying to hear that. Stephen A., you know what's going to happen if he goes to Portland, another team without enough on the roster to win a championship? They'll lose in the conference finals, which is farther than they've been, right, in the Damian Lillard era. Lillard will go crazy. They'll lose in the conference finals in a tough series. And you'll sit here and say, see, you can't win a championship with D'Antoni. Instead of acknowledging the fact that you get closer to winning a championship with D'Antoni with teams you have that have no business getting there because of D'Antoni, the coach. Of course Lillard should want D'Antoni. Do you believe excellence can, sh uh, can be emulated? Yes. Um, you don't believe that D'Antoni is doing something that other people can't figure out? Yeah, you can imitate him, sure. Okay. So now we go to this point. And see, this is why somebody like Mike D'Antoni wouldn't like me, um, because I completely disagree with Max Kellerman. I respect the hell out of Mike D'Antoni. I actually like him as a human being. I think he's a very nice man. Um, I think the job that he did in Phoenix was phenomenal. Um, and he deserves a lot of credit to the way he has transformed the culture of the NBA in terms of how the game is played. Because before Steph came along, there was a guy by the name of Steve Nash. Now, he might not have deserved one of those two league MVPs because one of them should have gone to Shaq. But nevertheless, Steve Nash was a sensational basketball player. And he had Amari Stoudemire. And he had Joe Johnson. And he had Sean Marion. And all of these brothers. And Phoenix was legit. But you know something? You weren't going to get over the hump because San Antonio was in your way because the Lakers was in your way. And they actually played defense. And if not for that one series with all the ejections, maybe they do win well, the championship you, you that year. You could say the maybes, 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 but I don't want to hear that. It didn't get done. And in the end, here's my whole point. I'm looking at Mike D'Antoni, one season in Denver, one half season in Denver, five in Phoenix, that's six seasons, four in New York, that's ten and a half seasons, basically, two in L.A., uh, that's twelve and a half, four and a half, uh, four seasons in Houston and not one single trip to the NBA Finals to show for it. Damian Lillard ain't 22. He's been around for a while. C.J. McCollum has been around for a while. Covington and Mello and those boys have been around for a while. How many damn chances are you supposed to get? The man coached James Harden, the man coached Steve Nash, the man coached Kobe Bryant, the man coached, you know, I mean, all of these guys he had, not a single trip to the Finals to show for it. I am sick and tired of coaches, white coaches, getting chance after chance after chance after chance. I'm not saying that Mike D'Antoni doesn't deserve to be a head coach. I don't want to put that out there. Mike D'Antoni, for a lot of teams, but let him go get one of them retreads and make them relevant. Why he always got to get a Damian Lillard caliber or a James Harden caliber or a Kobe Bryant caliber? Why you got to have Why you got to have something like that in your stable? Because there's plenty of, uh, plenty of coaches that don't have that. In the end, what it comes down to is this. Think about what we're saying here. We got a coach where Jamie Foxx don't take the D out of it, Dan Tony. He still has it after all of these years. He still has it figured out that you have to play defense at some time. D, take the D out of Dan Tony. But we still want him as the head coach. But we got assistant coaches that know how to do both and can't get chances. At some point in time, Give somebody else a chance. This dude has been around for 16 years as a head coach. And not one single appearance in the NBA Finals with the talent that he's had available to him. All I'm trying to say is, I'm not trying to say the man don't deserve to be a head coach. I'm not trying to say no team in the NBA should have looked at him and said, you know what? We need box office appeal. We need a team that can get to the playoffs and kind of make it interesting. But to just sit up there, Damian Lillard is not happy in Portland right now. Damian Lillard. And him with C.J. McCollum is no an elite why? backcourt. And what are we going to do? We're going to sit up there and say, well, Dan Tony's the answer? No, why he's not happy? Because they don't have enough. And I'm not saying Dan Tony will get him over the top. I'm saying he'll make them better. When you say, why should he get a job like that? Look, every team, like a lot of teams have a Damian Lillard caliber star. James Harden. A lot of teams? Well, here, look. 
James Harden, Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, LeBron James, KD. Like, you can go on. Even a young guy like Trey Young, you can make the same claim if D'Antoni got any of those jobs for any of those teams. As a matter of fact, when D'Antoni has a great player but doesn't buy in, he doesn't, can't do much with him. Carmelo, Kobe. When he has a great player who does buy in, Steve Nash, James Harden, he can do a whole lot. When he has a player who's only okay, but he buys in, Jeremy Lin looks suddenly like a star. If you give D'Antoni Damian Lillard, Damian you're Lillard's all, numbers will thought, jump up. Wait, I thought and, Lillard wants Jason Kidd. Wasn't that the conversation? Yeah, yeah, and that that's we not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Jason if, Kidd took his name out of the hat there because people in Portland was bringing up his past if instead Damian of judging Lillard, him on his merits as a coach. If Damian that's Lillard why. had D'Antoni as a coach, right. that team – would get closer to a championship than if they had almost anyone else as a coach. How do you know that with the West looking the way that it looks with teams playing defense? Oh, How do you know that? I'm not How do saying you know that? they'd win it because they don't have enough on the roster. Well, listen, I'm saying... D'Antoni's a dude I'm, you get if you don't listen, have enough on the I'm, roster. Listen, last time I checked, last time we saw Mike D'Antoni, they got bounced out in the second round. Okay, the fact of the matter is is that D'Antoni doesn't ensure that you're going to get but so far. It's not like the Portland Trailblazers aren't in the playoffs. They're in the playoffs every year. They get Sometimes, better or worse uh, with D'Antoni. Excuse me. I don't know that. What are you saying, Max, because he's not Terry Stotts? No. no I'm, I'm saying, saying because I'm saying, if you give him a dynamic a ball handler say, I'm, who no, can run his no. system. And I'm saying there's plenty of coaches out there who deserve the opportunity to do that rather than some dude who's been there for 16 years no. and never even took a team to the damn finals. Dan Tony has a track record of doing more with less, and you're framing it as though he's doing less with more. I'm not. That that's Rockets not what I'm team saying. had what, no business I, competing I am, with the Warriors. I am, not, I am not saying that. First of all, I disagree with that because if you got CP3 and he's James Harden, that. excuse me, if you got CP3 and James Harden, could you make a series interesting? Yes, which is what they did. Because I predicted they was going to lose no matter seven. what. I, I predicted they was going to lose no matter what. But, but in the end, what it comes down to is this. Is another coach, it's not about whether Dan Tony's going to be better than what Terry Stotts did. Is that can another coach do, do that. what you said yeah. Dan Tony would do? It Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.